Timber pattern, black and red, black and lime green, crimson or maroon and white, and purple and gold. Here's one that I've already done. Basically just wraps across the top of the Yeti cup. As you can see, it's thick wrap vinyl. It fits really well on there and it's really tough. <clears throat> So basically, I took the back off the, the backing off of the sticker. It's kind of windy right now, but basically what you do is you take it. Can you see from there? Basically, you take it, and I would take about the find the center about the center, and go ahead and line the center up with the top of the cup. You know, you could do it all with the top, but I like leaving a little gap. I think it looks better that way. So basically line it up and get it to stick in the center. And this vinyl is very thick wrap vinyl, so you can work with it very well. So basically all you gotta do is you take it, grab it with two hand or one hand right here, and just follow that top line and work out the bottom. So make sure you keep following that top line, leave you a little gap and just work out your wrinkles at the bottom. If you get a wrinkle, you can always just pull it back a little bit and work back at it. And I'm constantly pulling some tension down towards the bottom of the cup because this cup has a slight contour and it's gonna wanna make your wrap, wrap up like this. So basically, all I'm doing is keeping a gap up top, lining it up, and then working out the wrinkles towards the bottom like that. Doing this in the sun will allow the, the vinyl to flex a little bit and make it a lot easier to work with. But see, see I got a wrinkle in it like that. You can pull that wrinkle back out and work it again. All right, now that I've done one half, I'm gonna go back and if, see if it sticks like this and get some wrinkles in it, you can go ahead and pull it back and get it about even. And then do the same thing you did on this side as you did the other side. I'm constantly pulling down towards the bottom of the cup. That way it keeps that line straight. And basically I'm just looking and trying to keep the same gap. And while I'm doing that, I'm working out the bubbles towards the bottom. So basically I'm doing it just like that and see how if it starts to come up and touch the top you basically just pull it back and pull down towards the bottom of the cup again and lay it down and just rub out the wrinkles like so now I'm really particular when I'm doing wrap stuff so it may have taken me a little longer than average, but if you, it's very easy to do. I just try to make sure I get every single little wrinkle and bubble out. And see, now you see it starting to overlap. Now, this, this vinyl has flexed as I've worked it all the way around. So you would think it would, it would line up perfectly straight, but it doesn't. So what I do here is I basically just work it till it becomes straight. So now that one's lined up. That one's lined up, and I try to work the wrinkles out, just like so. Now, if you get wrinkles here at the end, you could take a lighter and rub a lighter right over the top of it, and those wrinkles will come right out. But most of the time, if, and see, you can, you can always pull it back a little bit more and work it. This vinyl is very, very good, very tough, very durable, so you can work it like so.
and get all of them out. That wasn't so bad. So now I have a completely wrapped. Catch me around here, boss, cause you ain't